Hello everyone and welcome to the Freedom Alternative. Alright, so this feminism test in a five scale dimension or whatever, has been making rounds on Facebook uh, within the last several days and uh, I figured that I would do it um, as well. Uh, one primary hint that it is a real deal is that, is, is that it comes with a trigger warning. So it says, attention, this test provides you with statements voiced by feminists and anti-feminists in the gender equality debate. Some of the statements may be perceived as provocative for all audiences. Okay, I understand and I wish to continue. So, this is basically the test. Um, and it starts, let's make it bigger. Feminism test. Um, men who support female empowerment are inherently weak. Uh, well, if by female, this, this is the, basically the issue of the entire text. Uh, it has a lot of conflations and a lot of uncertainty. So, if female empowerment had meant uh, what means for normal people, then uh, uh, it would be one thing. But by female empowerment, they mean feminism. And yes, men who support feminism are inherently weak. Next. Prostitu prostitution should not be legal. Nah, nah, prostitution should be legal. Swimwear advertisements featuring excessively thin models should be banned. Yeah, that's the feminist position and it's cancer. Next. Women can do every job in the military just as well as men. That's absolutely false. They, they can't. They can't and they won't and will never be able. It just doesn't work like that. Sure, you can say most of the jobs or a significant chunk of them, maybe, but just every job in the military just as well as men? No, that's simply not true. It's not about, it's not a, a, an issue of agreement or disagreement. It's about whether it's true or not. It is simply not. It is not possible to be feminist and uh, right-wing. Actually, it is. Sadly. Sure, most feminists are leftists. But sadly it is. Uh, although it, mm, although it, it is only possible uh, if you are in a libertarian leaning. So that is to say you favor market solutions that would lead to uh, feminist outcomes. Uh, you cannot be definitely a Thatcherite and a feminist at the same time. Uh, so, uh, yeah, no, I don't mildly disagree. Um, let's go further. Men's tendency to find younger and slender women more attractive than older and plumper ones has as much to do with the media as it has to do with biology. No, that's absolute nonsense. It is. It is absolute nonsense. You cannot re-engineer men to uh, like 65-year-old uh, uh, feminists that smell like cat piss. It just doesn't work like that. No. Uh, men, uh, men's tendency to find young and slender women more attractive has... Uh, everything to do with biology because uh, youth is fertility and we as men seek ferti fertile women uh, for obvious reasons. I mean, this is just anti-science bollocks from the feminists. So, no, completely disagree. Um, women have just as much of a sense of humor and duty, of honor and duty as men. Uh, no. Women can or might be able to get as much as, uh, of a sense of honor and duty as uh, men, but they don't have it right now, at least not in uh, in the West, uh, because women are not being taught to have a sense of honor and duty. Women are being taught that uh, everything is owed to them by quote-unquote society. Women are not uh, taught that they owe something back to the civilization that allows them to be um, to at least pretend to be equal, because they're not. So, no, completely disagree. Next. Children should be raised in a, as gender-neutral way as possible. No, absolutely not. That's insane. Uh, that's absolutely insane. No, sex matters, biology matters, um, and biology denialism by means of left-wing creationism uh, should absolutely be shunned uh, for good uh, and in every occasion that you get. Uh, okay, next. Trump's political standpoints and statements are bad news for women in America. That's absolute nonsense. That's absolute nonsense. Uh, if, if anything, uh, uh, Trump is um, is is much is much of a feminist, or at the very least, he's being influenced by his feminist daughter. So no, absolute no. That's that's on that's bollocks. 
Uh, contemporary Western societies are to a very large degree defined by the patriarchy. That's absolute nonsense. The, the patriarchy conspiracy theory is something that only a minuscule, but unfortunately still very vocal minority of mentally disordered people believe in. Uh, the rest of the, uh, the rest of the planet does understand that the patriarchy is not real. So no, absolutely not. The essence of men and women are so different that it makes no sense to speak of human rights, only male and female rights. Uh, this is the case of statement that is that can be both true and false at the same time. It depends on your reference point, doesn't it? And this is uh, uh, the issue with most of the questions in this test. It doesn't show what is the reference point. Uh, because if you're talking about... Um, uh, legislation, then yes, it does make sense uh, to speak of human rights and uh, try to apply legislation as much as possible across the board and then allow for exceptions where it isn't possible and that's it. If, however, you're talking about um, uh, a social reference that has nothing to do with equality under the law and legislation and force, basically, because the state is an institution of force, then yes, it doesn't make sense to speak of human rights because humans are unequal and we will treat each other unequal because that's how reality works and that's how it continued to work since the dawn of time. So yeah, it just doesn't say. It doesn't say what is the reference point of this test. So yeah, I guess I'll just leave it in the middle because it doesn't say. It is not possible to be sexist against men, says the feminist. That's nonsense. Next. The mainstream cultural conceptions surrounding male-female dating and intercourse are constructed by the patriarchy to satisfy men's desires. That's absolute nonsense and cancer. Next. It is hypocritical for Western feminists to bash Western men for the smallest grievances while largely ignoring the absence of fundamental rights for women in the Muslim world. Uh, yes, although I would have to, again... Um, call into question the, the narrative that uh, brings this framing because the narrative is not particularly congruent, at least not entirely, with reality. Um, and for that I would advise people to read about how divorce works in Iran, for instance. It's not really uh, as patriarchal as both uh, tradcons and feminists would have you believe. It's a little bit more complex than that and, uh, dare I say, a little bit far more misandric than uh, your average Westerner might dare to imagine. I mean, just look up the concept of marié or marie, um, to, just to get an idea. It's not that simple. But yeah, generally I do agree. I mean, uh, bashing uh, uh, your average Western man for manspreading, whereas um, in Saudi Arabia you can be beheaded for witchcraft. Yeah, that sounds a bit hypocritical, a bit more. <laughs> uh, okay, continue. Women are generally better people than men. No, women are people. That means they have qualities and flaws. Uh, so, no. Uh, white men peddle uh, hatred against Muslims as a way to distract women from the, uh, from the fact that they are oppressed. Uh, this sounds like something like what the, a Swedish feminist would say. And it is, of course, cancer. Gender differences are immutable and men and women have distinct but complementary social roles to play. Yes, that's absolutely true. Uh, all it takes is a, a, a biology book and, uh, you know, 10 minutes in the real world to figure this one out, uh, which goes to show that feminists haven't been spending too much time in the real world for too many decades. Uh, all right, next. Since men repress women, not only in the public sphere, but also in the home, feminism should not uphold the distinction between private and political, but in fact regard the private as political. Yes, this is basically um, Catherine McKinnon and Simone de Beauvoir type of uh, discourse. It is absolutely retarded as anything feminism uh, related. Uh, so no, fuck off. Um, one of the crowning glories of Western civilization. Ah. Eh? Not entirely convinced. I would, I would, uh, I would, I'm in part yes, but uh, overall no, because there are many other bigger crowning glories of Western civilization that matter a lot more. In fact, I would go as far as to say that some of that uh, emancipation is, uh, is uh, detrimental to the <clears throat> civilization overall. So yeah, partially agree, but partially disagree as well. Women are just as independent and risk seeking as men. 
Uh, this is again a, a very weird one. Uh, women can be just as independent uh, as men, but they are rarely just as risk-seeking as men. That's simply not true. Um, because if women had been uh, just as risk-seeking as men, uh, then you would see uh, in very risky fields of uh, of the economy you would see a much higher proportion of women, yet that doesn't happen. Women don't take as many risks as men do. Uh, and that's there's nothing wrong with that, but trying to avoid acknowledging it is uh, is inherently wrong. So no, uh, yeah, they can be just as independent, sometimes, depends on the circumstances, but just as risk-seeking? No, not really. No. Continue. Sex in blurred lines kind of situations where the woman does not explicitly consent but does not explicitly say no either is morally on par with rape. No, that's insane. Uh, by that standard, uh, I've been raped uh, several hundreds of times just this year alone. No, it, it, it doesn't work like that. Let's go further. The idea that men and women should have the same rights is, is cultural and civilizational suicide yeah, that's a bit extreme, even by my standard. Um, this idea of having similar... I would rather go with similar than same. Um, is not necessarily n neither cultural nor civilizational suicide. However, striving for absolute sameness, as feminists do. Uh, no, let's have 50% of women in the corporate boards. Yeah, that's lunacy. And yes, that is suicide, because it basically... Uh, messes up the economy by stuffing uh, economic leadership with uh, incompetent people. So yeah, that is suicide, civilizational suicide. But saying that in general, uh, uh, s striving to have the uh, same uh, rights and cultural is cultural and civilizational suicide. Yeah, not really. No, I, I guess I'll leave it to the middle. Um, it, it is a bit too extreme. Female empowerment necessarily disempowers men. This is definitely true in practice. This is definitely true in practice because every single quote-unquote female empowerment initiative that we've seen from feminists since, well, at least in the last 50 years, necessarily did uh, mess around things uh, for men. So yes, in practice, that's definitely true. Uh, giving women the vote was a mistake. Now, this is a, um, a particularly bizarre uh, question because... On one hand, I absolutely do oppose universal suffrage, so I definitely do think that uh, the march towards universal suffrage was a mistake. So in that regard, I absolutely do agree with this um, with this statement, not because I think giving women in particular was a, the vote was a mistake. I, I think it was also a mistake universal male suffrage. Uh, universal suffrage in general is a bad idea. I'm more of a uh, poll tax type of guy, but, you know, more of a... Um, a modern poll tax, for instance, if you've paid, let's say, $5,000 in taxes in the last two years and you've drawn uh, zero or $1,000 in benefits in welfare in the last two years, then that means you're a net contributor to society, in which case you should be allowed to vote, no matter um, race, color, creed, sex, whatever. However, if you've paid $5,000 in taxes in the last two years, but you've drawn $25,000 uh, in benefits, in welfare, then you should absolutely not be allowed to vote, again, regardless of your sex, race, color, or creed, because uh, you're a net drain on society and uh, the opinions of net consumers should be uh, essentially irrelevant, should not be considered that much. Uh, so, yeah, uh, mostly agree, half agree, half disagree, pr precisely because I, uh, I think universal suffrage in general uh, was a mistake. Uh, let's go further. Contemporary Western society is permeated by rape culture. That's absolute lunacy. Uh, it is abs again. If uh, if there was such thing as rape culture, we wouldn't be having uh, prisons filled with rapists. Uh, there is um, uh, an import of a, of a real rape culture that is going on in uh, certain northern European countries uh, where there is too much cultural diversity, cultural enrichment being brought from uh, the religion of peace world. Uh, where, and those particular ones are indeed spared uh, jail. And uh, believe it or not, it's usually feminists who campaign for that. So, But 
no, in general, contemporary Western society is definitely not permeated by rape culture. It's just simply not true. The lack of nuanced roles for women in movies is a serious problem for gender equality. No, it's not. Even if that were true, which is not, but even if that were true, uh, you know, portrayal in art is not an issue of gender equality. If you don't like it, you do make bo better art or art that suits uh, your particular needs. Uh, nah, no. Gender equality has largely been achieved in the West, barring certain ethnic minorities, the struggle for equality is as good as over. Uh, yes, although uh, I disagree definitely with this, so barring certain ethnic minorities, no, that's absolute nonsense. If, if anything, certain ethnic minorities uh, are enjoying uh, minority privilege in uh, way too many countries of Europe and most of North America. Uh, so no, uh, I... I did definitely disagree with that part. But yes, in general, gender equality has largely been achieved in the West, and feminism is cancer and should absolutely cease to exist. The male gaze's tendency to objectify women against their will is a serious problem for women. No, it's not. Uh, it's an evolutionary adaptation. Women objectify men. Men objectify women. That's how we uh, meet sexual partners. That's how we mate. That's how we... Uh, perpetuate the species. Uh, it's no, it, that's absolute nonsense. It's not a problem. <clears throat> the psychological tricks and manipulations used uh, by pickup artists to get women to sleep with them should be considered a type of hate crime. That's absolute nonsense. Uh, nobody is forcing you. If you don't like their tactics, don't speak with them. Fuck off. Uh, you know, this is again feminism is childism because this particular statement essentially assumes that women are children and incapable. Of, uh, of just saying no and get lost, get lost. No, utterly disagree. Women are just as rational and logical as men. Uh, yeah, no, not really, not really. Uh, no, it, it, it doesn't work like that. Um, you can argue that uh, part of it is maybe socially conditioned. I don't think so, but at least it's an argument that's worth um, discussing. But definitely no. Uh, Women and men are different and uh, have different complementary um, capabilities. What what men can do better, women cannot do that good. And what women can do better, men cannot do that good. Uh, giving birth is an obvious example. Uh, so, you know, just as uh, rational and logical, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. Um, no, no, mostly no. The fat acceptance movement ch uh, champions a worthwhile cause for women. It deserves more sympathy and support. I've mentioned this in the future episode that's going to be published in a few days. Uh, of periodic insanity. Uh, no, not really. The way uh, the fat acceptance movement uh, works right now uh, definitely doesn't deserve more sympathy and support. If anything, it deserves far more scorn, because, uh, no, this, this thing should not be encouraged. It, it's a danger for women, actually, and it's a danger for men, too. Uh, no, this fact is acceptance thing is, is just cancer. The wage gap is a myth. All re women already get equal pay for equal work. That's absolutely true. That's just, ec just basic economics. Uh, feminists who don't actually play video games should refrain from criticizing um, the portrayal of women in video games. Um, again, what does should mean? That is uh, an advice, you know, you should mind your own business, or is it uh, a mandate? Uh, as in, uh, feminists should be censored whenever they try to do this. Because if it is an advice, then I absolutely do agree, yeah, they should mind their own business. But if it is uh, an argument for censorship, then of course I don't agree, because, no, feminists should be allowed to say whatever disdainful nonsense crosses through their minds, and then we get to poke fun at them uh, on uh, YouTube. Uh, so, yeah, I, I guess I agree if it is an advice. If it is an advice, yes, uh, feminists who don't play video games should refrain from uh, criticizing because they have no idea what they're talking about, and minding your own business is a virtue in and of itself. Men's rights activists and male-bashing feminists are equally tribal and regressive in their thinking. No, I disagree, and the reason is very simple. Uh, I haven't yet seen any conference, any feminist conference, being um, attacked by men's rights activists and having the, its fire alarm pulled and the, the conference being stopped because, um, because a bunch of men's rights activists stormed into the room and started uh, yally, yelling and... Uh, uh, destroying things and uh, shouting the, the speakers down. That never happened. 
Um, also, I have never seen <clears throat> any men's rights activist anywhere um, saying that, you know, the earth would be better if the female population would be reduced to 10% of what it is now, or that, the, or if 90% of women would be killed, which is something that uh, feminists uh, have done and uh, have said and continue to say. I have never seen an article written in The Guardian or The Telegraph or anywhere in the uh, cathedral media, an article written by a men's rights activist that says that... Uh, um, Men that women should be held in concentration camps, and uh, um, you would be allowed, and men would be allowed only to visit them, and you can take uh, her at home as your personal toy, but you'll have to bring her back in 12 hours, which is something that feminists have actually said in the mainstream media. So no, to say that uh, men's rights activists are just as tribal and regressive as feminists, that's, that's just a lie. Uh, it, no, no, that's that's utter nonsense. Pornography should not be legal. I get the fuck out of here. No, pornography should absolutely be legal. I, I've made a video about this. This is where the religious left and the religious right um, meet. Uh, there are feminists who argue against pornography, and then there is the old conservatives, religious right types. They're both wrong. No, pornography should absolutely be legal. Uh, now, whether you think watching pornography is good or not, that's a separate story. You can teach your children that pornography is bad and whatnot. But trying to make it illegal by the violent, using the violence of the state, get the fuck out of here. No, that's that's lunacy. So no, uh, I absolutely disagree. Uh, market economies unfavor unfairly favor men's abilities over women's. That's absolutely nonsense. In fact, if anything, in the last um, uh, several decades, uh, we've seen the reverse happening. Uh, uh, now, admittedly, part of it is by design. That is to say, uh, governments have intervened uh, and unfair unfairly favored women over men. But part of it is um, um, a, a temporary progression of the, of market economics that favor uh, certain particular types of skills that women tend to possess in much uh, higher amounts. Uh, and in much bigger proportion than men do. So no, the assertion that market economies unfairly favors men's abilities over women's, that's just nonsense. It's just not true. Uh, the state should enforce quotas mandating uh, uh, that fathers and mothers take a roughly equal amount of parental leave. No, uh, everything that starts with the state should enforce, and it includes the word quota, uh, no. No, the state, the state shouldn't do anything, because this, <clears throat> for instance, this particular topic, how which which parent takes how much uh, parental leave? That's something that individual families ought to negotiate with each other. Uh, individual members of the family ought to negotiate with each other, uh, taking into account their own incomes, their own available time. So no, absolutely not. The state should get out of here, get out of this business. The state should enforce quotas mandating that a certain percentage of male-dominated high-end jobs, such as CEO, uh, board memberships, professorships, etc., should go to women. Again, anything that starts with the state should enforce uh, and contains the word quota is uh, absolute uh, lunacy. No, absolutely not. Uh, if you don't like it, uh, make your own company. Uh, and appoint a female CEO and see how that works out. Because, you know, sometimes uh, that works out very well, but... If you appoint people because of their genitals, that really goes down very well. So no, absolutely not. If women ran the world, there would be less violence and fewer wars. Uh, no, actually, uh, historically speaking, queens, uh, European queens, started far more wars than European kings. So uh, we're, historically speaking, this was already tested. Women did run the world and there was more violence and definitely a lot more words so no absolutely that, that's absolute nonsense uh, now i'm not saying that necessarily that would happen be happening now but to assume that if women ran the world there would be less violence and fewer words that's absolute nonsense besides um this question doesn't even per, per, it, it merely implies that if you would have more let's say female prime ministers or female presidents and whatnot but it doesn't say uh, it doesn't go deeper than that because, for instance, in the economic department, women do run the world since uh, women make up um, 75 or 80 percent of the decisions re uh, that um, of spending decisions. So basically, women do run the world in a way, uh, and that's fine because that's basically a natural progression. It's not something uh, imposed upon uh, ideologically by a government or a group of um, pseudo-intellectual busybodies like feminists are. So no, absolutely disagree. 
Um, question 40 or 42, if the use of sex robots becomes a normal practice, this will lead to the dehumanization of women. Uh, no. If the use of sex robots becomes a normal practice, well, maybe it, maybe it, might, it might become, I don't know, uh, it will either lead to the dehumanization of both men and women, or it will have other effects that we cannot yet foresee. Uh, because, you know, it's the same thing with uh, with dildos. Uh, the emergence of dildos, did that uh, lead to the dehumanization of men? No, not really. Not uh, not in an overwhelming majority of cases. It probably did with lesbianic feminists, but who cares what those believe? In general, it did not, it did not lead to um, dehumanization of men. And, this, and again, sex robots, there are also sex robots that uh, are designed... For women, uh, so uh, either make the claim gender neutral or shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean, <coughs> so yeah, I'm not convinced uh, by uh, this particular uh, claim. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see because we don't know yet. Uh, for 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 now, the sex robots are just not that great. So making predictions uh, about them is a bit too early. Uh, if you really want my personal opinion, is if they will become particularly great, uh, that is to say they will e uh, close to impeccably imitate uh, f female behavior and there will be a, a legitimate substitute, that would force women to st actually start competing. Uh, in fact, I believe that over the long run it could make women great again. <laughs> because for now, women have no incentive to actually compete. Um, uh, now th There is only w a small... Uh, pressure because now uh, traveling across the world is easier and you can get out of the feminist areas and get uh, try to get a wife from a non-feminist area but that's still very hard it's easier than it was 50 years ago but it's still very hard but still there's very little um, competition upon uh, western U western women uh, however when uh, robots will be uh, maybe maybe that will be a, a big enough pressure but that's again conjecture on my behalf I don't think um, anyone can accurately predict how things will uh, work out because it's way too early to tell. All right, continue. Women can be just as happy as men without a stable relationship. No, not really. Um, I, I think I, I said that in the video, the next narrative on sexual politics. Men are simply wired uh, much better. They're better equipped, evolutionary speaking. Uh, men are wired for long periods of being alone. Uh, men don't like it, uh, but they're, they're definitely better equipped. If you have to, as a man, it's easier to be alone for 5, 10, 15 years than it is for women. Uh, overall, uh, single women are miserable when they end up in their 50s, whereas not the same is true with, uh, uh, with men. So no, uh, no, no, I don't think so, no. There are only two genders, of course. Of course there are only two genders. So, let's see. Traditionalism, 93%. Uh, liberal feminism, 51%. Radical feminism, 6%. Marxist feminism, 6%. And cultural feminism, 5%. Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Explanation of concept. <clears throat> Traditionalism refers to illiberal standards of philosophy which seek to preserve what they see as quote-unquote natural and quote-unquote traditional order of things. Uh, in the past, this standpoint was uh, chiefly represented by early 20th century uh, thinkers such as Julius Evola and René Guignon. After a hiatus following the World War II, traditionalism has resurfaced as a new type of conservative to the right of mainstream conservatism. It is chiefly popular among younger voters who are skeptical of the liberal enlightenment principles that mainstream conservatives accept, uniting instead behind national pride, a critical stance towards feminism and Islam, and resistance to globalism. Yeah, maybe, although I have no idea what uh, this particular description has anything whatsoever to do with most of this test. I mean, uh, for instance, I would like to know, if I, if you say there are two genders, that would that increase your... Um, your score in traditionalism, and if yes, what's that got to do with Julius Evola and uh, uh, and René Guignon? Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, 97% uh, of people, probably even more than that, of people overall o o o worldwide, believe that there are only two genders because that's reality. Um, 
so yeah, uh, there's that. Let's see how they define Marxist feminism, and then we can wrap this up. Marxist feminism holds that the mode of production in capitalist societies is organized in a way that favors men's abilities over women's. Ah, so basically, insanity. As opposed to radical feminists who see patriarchy as the source of gender inequality, Marxist feminists see capitalism as the cause. Marxist feminists argue that the structures of capitalist economy coerce women into assuming responsibility for unpaid blah, 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 blah. blah. Ah, so at least they define it correctly, because this is basically uh, the uh, Friedrich Engels um, t way of, um, of looking at things. It's been described first and f foremost in Engels' book, uh, The Origin of uh, Private Property, the Family and the State. So at the very least, they define that concept correctly. I'm not very convinced that they define traditionalism as it should be, but and if, and if they do, again, what's that got to do with most of the questions? <clears throat> Cultural feminism, uh, okay, that women are essentially different and that women are generally more nurturing, more empathetic, and less violent than men. Yeah, that's simply not true. They're, they're definitely more nurturing, but more empathic, I don't know, it hasn't been proven, and less violent than men, that definitely hasn't been proven. Uh, they can get away with it better, that's true. I mean, if you look in, in the sentencing disparities, women get away with a lot of violent shit that men would would never even begin to imagine that they could get away with so yeah this is basically uh, the uh, the result of my feminism test the five scale i'm 93 percent traditionalist <laughs> couldn't be more wrong <laughs> but yeah uh, so yeah with all of that being said uh, thank you for watching and i'll soon be uploading some more serious and real content uh talk to you all soon cheers